All right, all right. All right, guys, we're about to get today's stream started. This is episode five of Let's Build a Colony. I'm your host, Smajanu. And uh, I think where we left off is we were essentially fighting this buildup of chlorine gas. As you see all this redness, it is not good. All this red is not good. That is chlorine gas that's building up in our base from this wonderful little chlorine vent we have down here. So uh, when we wrapped up the last episode, we started digging out this entire area um, just so we could try to have some more space for all that gas to fall to. And I mean, so far, so far, so good. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, things could obviously be better. So yeah, we got a few things we're going to be working on today. Uh, probably be expanding this area here, first and foremost. And uh, we're going to have to put some energy into getting this utility shaft made. Because we're getting to a point where we have... Uh, we got a few things that we need to be running more power off of. So we'll probably be switching to coal at some point. I think in today's playthrough and uh, yeah without further ado let's go ahead and kick it off looks like we're just getting into day 112 so we've come a long way But a high priority on getting these little guys moved. Hey, what's going on, my boy? Mast anxiety. What's popping, bro? Hope you've been doing well, man. Appreciate that invite to the group. What you got lined up for tonight? Let's get those eggs out of there. Just playing some R6 Siege, Rainbow Six. Hop on Hell Divers. Hey, I feel that, bro. Yeah, if, uh, if this stream seems a little slow today, I might jump on Hell Divers. I was planning on playing at some point today, but uh, been getting some pretty good traction streaming this, so I, you know, figured I'd do do this for a few hours, see how that goes. But yeah, I might end up jumping on some Hell Divers if you're gonna be on for a bit. the next thing we're going to research guys I think we're going to start working on the fossil fuels yeah let's go ahead and get that going be on for a while all right cool man good deal yeah I've, uh, I just unlocked the um that new war bond uh like a day or a couple days ago so i've been uh been grinding trying to get all the stuff out of that some of the new guns are pretty good not a big fan of the um i think the plasma shotgun but uh most of the other stuff seems pretty good Let's 
So we're just gonna keep digging this uh, little tunnel out. We gotta get, we gotta make some more space for this chlorine gas to fall. Cause it's starting to get into our kitchen area here. So we're just gonna keep digging this bad boy out. Guys, shout out my boy Mass Anxiety. If you're on kick, make sure you give drop him a follow. Let's see. Should probably bring that ladder down. Oh, I can't. Was there like a plan or something right there? There is, of course there is. So let's harvest those, get them up out of her. We're just gonna keep digging down. We gotta just, we're gonna, I wanna basically dig out this entire area so we have a nice big uh, bank for all of our carbon dioxide and all this chlorine to fall into. Uh, the big goal of today is really to get all this nasty chlorine uh, down underneath our power area, if possible. So we'll see how that goes. There's no telling. I'm sure we'll probably end up running into another problem, like uh, the fact that we don't have any food. I just realized that. So let's cut those on, get some food going. We have a very low calorie count, guys. We need 9,000 calories a day, and we only have 2,400. Uh, so that's not exactly a, a good thing. But we're going to just try to make do with what we can. Hey, good looking on the follow, Lenzo. Appreciate it. Hope you are having a wonderful... I don't even know what today is. Is today Tuesday? No, it's Wednesday. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday, Lenzo. Appreciate that follow. We're uh, we're just fighting to keep our dupes alive in our little uh, survival colony builder here. We have a ton of chlorine gas. That's what all this nasty green gas is. Let's check out the gas overlay. So oxygen levels are looking pretty good throughout most of the base. So it looks like we started to get some of the chlorine to fall. So that's good. And oh uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep expanding this tunnel. Saw so this gas can drop. There he is, the main man Griff, one of the OGs of the stream. He's been rocking with me since episode one. What you got going on tonight, Griff? Please tell me she's okay. I was really hoping she was in the kitchen. Our calorie count is super low. We've been adding viewers to um, the stream or to the colony uh, as we've been expanding, but we're actually at a point where I don't even think we can. We need to expand our farm dramatically uh, if we're going to add anybody else. So I might, I might end up actually building a whole secondary farm area down here. check out what's the temperature like I know we got some stuff over here that's not growing because it's just a bit too hot I'm not too sure what I can do to lower that temperature are these putting out heat I wonder they are putting out a little heat so that might be part of the reason the temperature is a little higher than it normally is taking titles on 2k23 hey I feel that so yeah um yeah food is becoming a concern um, definitely. So let's see. All down here, uh, temperature-wise, is pretty solid across the board. 
So I think we're going to actually make a second level to our farm. So let's go ahead and get that going. Yeah, we're just not producing enough food. We're like right on the cusp of starving, guys. So we're going to have to up the amount of food we're producing. bad boys right there yeah let's just get that going how are we doing on our dig looking pretty good once I get this little area cleared out we're probably gonna dig straight down into this sandy area go ahead and start breaking some more of this up probably gonna try to dig around the bleach stone so we don't really want, that's going to kick out some more chlorine. We don't really need that. If possible, I mean, there's some spots I'll probably have to dig up, like right here. But yeah, I think we can just go around all right here. So let's try and do that. We barely made it on the food tip. We have 1,000 calories going into the next day. It's not great, but I'm uh, definitely going to have keep them focused on making food tomorrow. And then I think we're going to put a high priority on uh, the second level of a new farm. So you can go ahead and get some more crops going. Yes, for my next level, give me a point of farm and help with that. Hey, that would be good. Let's see, what's our, what's everything looking like as far as morale and all that good stuff? Okay, Ada has a point. Tone has a point. I'll hold off on giving them points out. Hopefully, we'll see uh, them in the stream tonight. Or if you just leveled up not too long ago, so it's gonna be a little bit, but that's fine. It's no big deal. I think the problem isn't so much that my character can't do it all himself. Uh, what kind of threw things off is this area here is too hot to grow uh, some of the plants I have down. And then we're having some type of weird glitch where these are says these need to be irrigated, but I know that's not the case, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Now it's saying temperature. Who's the other farmer? I don't think we've set a, another dedicated farmer just yet. Because usually I get done with all the farming stuff pretty quickly. And we got Dippa that is also helping with the ranching. So I spend most of my time farming. Uh, let's check out point wise who would probably be the best next candidates. See if anyone has some points in it already. Ada has two points in farming. She's the only person that has a little bit of farming skill. So the next person that would probably be Ada, because I think they're primarily digging, which uh, we can always, you know, while digging is a priority right now. And yeah, as soon as they get that built out, I want them to focus up on that. I keep forgetting, I need to stop forgetting to turn on the damn, the damn food production. But it's all good. Looks like we have a few things to harvest, so calorie count's going up. Maybe I say, yeah. Oh, yeah. Farming is like super important. I mean, we have a ton of mealwood seeds, so it's literally just a matter of just planting some more seeds. I'm 
pretty sure my guy will probably take care of that. We've already got all of the, uh, besides these couple plants here, we got everything lined up and good to go. And I think for the rest of these, we're just going to stick to Millwood because having these lights is uh, causing this area to heat up a bit. Plus, it's pretty hot on this side as well. So yeah, we need to, we might actually end up getting rid of this light, getting rid of these bristle berries and just keep them over here. Because we definitely want to make use of this area. Set eight is priority to cooking and farming, higher priority on cooking. Let's see. So yeah, she's been a builder, so let's drop that down priority on cooking and a slight priority on farming as we expand out and lay in the kitchen. I'm not sure why Griff jumped on cooking, but hey, it is what it is. As long as somebody's whipping up some food, I'm not going to complain about that. so we can dig out this part as well and work our way both ways. tradesman oh yeah for sure jack of all trades a little bit of everything okay and our water level is starting to get a little low um as far as um getting water for making food so let me see some more stuff we're gonna have to end up doing. Oh, look at that. Hey, we actually made our way up here. Continue having them build their way up slowly but surely. Oh man, so much is. It has been a cluster fuck to say the least as far as keeping everything rolling. But once we get. Uh, get these plants in, I think we'll be in good shape. We have dedicated cooks. We're, we just weren't producing enough food, so once we get uh, these up and growing, I think we'll be good. And 
then I'm almost tempted to get rid of the bristle, uh, the bristle berries. Bristle berries, let's see. Same thing, five to 30, which is the same as the mill is 10 to 30. But it's just a smidge too hot over here. So none of those will be able to grow. Is there any other food that we can grow? Sleet wheat. Negative five to five degrees Celsius. That's probably from up top. Got the fungal spores, but they need a carbon dioxide area to grow. So that's not gonna work either. This plant produces lettuce. Oh. That might be something worth looking into eventually. More coal, yes. Taking that off rip. Both of our coal storage units are full. That's a beautiful sight to see. To plop down another one of these bad boys. And let me see. I'm going to have to make a water trap here. So we can throw. Go ahead and throw down our liquid reservoir right here for the future. Main focus in medical with under focus in research and tech. Yeah. A dupe of many, many trades. Getting it done. calories we got 200 calories going into day 114 I don't think it'll be too big of an issue um, so yeah, it looks like we got some got some food that we can make on the grill which will be worth quite a bit of calories and uh, we have a dedicated person making uh, the mush bars and lice loaf so I think we'll be fine there. So that research is done. All right, got Lay and Ada whipping it up. has a ton of morale. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and throw uh, the cooking skill on them just so we just to help speed up her cooking ability because really what we really want is we really want lay on the musher and probably have Ada doing the uh, the grill but it is what it is not going to complain on these little projects here.
just keep expanding our big old hole. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Looks like uh, the chlorine level is finally starting to fall a bit. Getting back to normal in the kitchen. That's great. Definitely what we like to see. So let's see, one of the other things that we need to go ahead and start planning for is the water suit. Where is that at? Not tripping. Where is this at? There it is. I was like, I oh, know I'm not tripping. Perhaps I'm just blind, guys. Okay, so... Let's... It's the input. We'll switch, flip that around. Put that right there. Damn, let me see, where is our... Our main water pipe is there. Do, 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 do. Some pre planning. Let's see. Oh, we can build a liquid bridge right there. Okay. So, what we'll do is. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Flip that around. Put a liquid bridge. Well, actually, hold on. I do want to kind of, I kind of want to send it here so we can clean it as planned. So what would be the best way to do that? This pipe will go down here. And then this pipe can go straight through here. Put a water pump down there and then this pipe can run. I guess we could actually run it here. Move this, move this carbon scrubber farther down into our chamber. That's what I'm thinking. Flip that there. This can be a low, we'll put a lower priority on this stuff as it's not the most important thing to do right now. But it doesn't hurt to go ahead and plan it out. Put that there. straight over. Alright, let's get out of this view here. So we'll open that little area up. Alright, 
Cool. We have that. I wonder why it's considering that an unreachable dig. Maybe because of the water? It shouldn't be a problem. I wouldn't think. Oh man, as day 114 comes to a close, guys, it looks like we're making some progress on uh, the gas issue. And it looks like we're starting to get our food back in order. Who is starving? There's plenty of food. Go eat something. What are you doing? One thing I probably should do is I probably should go ahead and start running uh, making space for our next uh, section of bathrooms. So we don't have enough bathrooms for everybody. I don't want to do that. Let me see. Just run this pipe up and then... Oh, well, you can't even see. I could just have it run straight across the floor. Because you can't, see, you won't be able to see it. Then we could do like a liquid bridge. Or not. Yeah, that might work. It might work. gonna need to fill the resistor soon. The resistor? What resistor? Griff? What's she talking about? Talk about the... Oh, the reservoir, yeah. We're definitely gonna have to make the reservoir very soon. Um, and that's going to be its own little project because we got to get pump the water over to it first and foremost. So we got the basic layout of how we're going to do that. Let me double check to make sure I can run these pipes behind the coal generators, which I think we can. Yeah. We're going to run a pipe straight across like that. And then this, we're going to have to move this deep down into this hole that we're digging. So that's going to be its own little side project as well. Hmm. I'm debating on like, should I go ahead and start moving that? Because I mean, it's really not doing anything here. So yeah, I guess we can go ahead and deconstruct that. There's no carbon dioxide for it to clean up at the moment. Nice. Okay. Looking pretty good as far as getting that chlorine gas level to start coming down. Uh, I think that's just carbon dioxide right there. And we got a little bit of hydrogen gas in the bedrooms. So we might have to throw, probably have to throw in a few um, airflow towels so that can go all the way up to the top of the base. Jeez, so much to do. Alright, let's focus on getting this dug out. This is kind of the big issue right now is that they need... Uh, some more air 
so they can really work down there. I kind of want to start making some oxygen mask, honestly. Let's see, do we need anything else? I think we got this all set up. Last time I checked, it is all set up. Oh, da, 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 da. That's going to go over there. All right. Let's try to go ahead and run the smelter. It's going to burn through the power that's in our batteries, but you know, it is what it is. Looks like Sushin's getting right in on that. And there's the overload damage I was talking about. Because these cables are not good enough to actually uh, run, to run this high voltage equipment. So yeah, it's putting stress on the entire, entire network. So that's fun. Uh, where did he go? He just took off. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be checking around the base for wire damage, which hopefully it just stays right here. I don't think we're really running too much stuff besides the food processing uh, at the moment. Put this off. Oh, this actually kicks out. Yeah, it kicks out clean water. So we can actually cycle that back into the uh, back into a different area. But I think it's hot is the issue. Hey, what's going on, Pops? Hope you're having a good night. Just here hanging out with the community, uh, running this survival colony simulator. This, this game is crazy. Dude, I need somebody to get in on this. We gotta make some more of this metal. So we can turn this thing back off. This is placing a huge strain on our uh, battery supply. While we wait for that, let's check out what research we can do next. So we got our fossil fuel stuff done. So now we have access to the natural gas generator. We turn natural gas into power. You take crude oil and turn that into petroleum and natural gas. So this might be, this might give us a sustainable uh, source of power, I'm thinking. Petroleum generator. Polymer press extracts crude oil using clean water. And we're making our way down, so let's go ahead and just start working towards um, getting some stuff set up for once we get down to the oil. It shouldn't be too much farther down, I would imagine. What the hell is that? Suminium Synthesizer. Discovered a new dream analyzing building buried deep in our asteroid. Seems to contain new sleep-specific suits. Could these be the key to unlocking my dupe's abilities to dream? Often wondered what they might be capable capable of once their imaginations were awakened. Interesting. So we got another weird building that we can check out. I see. I see you be lost trying to play that game. Yeah. Uh, it's man. This game is wild. Uh, it looks really goofy, but it's actually very. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
Like, you really got to think about your choices in this game. It's, um, I know uh, what turned me on to it was there's a lot of engineers that play this game. So it's like you got to deal with uh, different types of gas and different gas densities. That's like been our big issue lately. Is uh, we have a bunch of chlorine gas, which is obviously can't breathe that in coming from this little vent here. And uh, we were going down here to get some uh, plants for some medical supplies, but all this chlorine gas was leaking up into the base. And this thing just keeps pumping out more gas. So all this chlorine, it was on the level with the kitchen, uh, which was causing some issues as far as breathability. So we had to dig out this huge area, this big cavern. We've been digging this out so all this gas is somewhere to kind of fall and go to. Uh, which overall has been working out pretty good. Um, got the levels down last I checked. Because yeah, all this red is... Red is bad. But we... Uh, all this red was starting to get up here. So we've dropped it by two levels uh, so far. And... Uh, and what else? I think we were almost starving to death. Our food supply got super low. Uh, so we just had to go and plant a whole new farm area here. Probably gonna end up expanding that again. Make another farm area over here. But yeah, this game's definitely a trip. It's a, it's a lot of uh, micromanagement, to say the least. Playing a deadly game, pretty much. <clears throat> nah, nah, if you want to see me play a deadly game, that would be Dead by Daylight. Um, I'll, I'll probably end up streaming some Dead by Daylight at some point, just for shits and giggles, but it's not really a game I'm into anymore. But that game, um, you play as a survivor, and you literally have a killer that's um, trying to hunt you and three other people down. And you gotta work on five generators to power some doors so you can escape. That game's pretty crazy, pretty hard. That that would be the death game. Now, um, I feel like now we're, we're starting to get things back under control. Things were looking kind of bad in the last episode. This is episode five, actually. But uh, since we started digging this out, that kind of take took care of the gas situation. And we're also working our way up to the surface still got a long way to go but we're working our way up to the surface uh so we can try to get some solar panels and stuff installed and i think if i think if we make it to the surface i think we'll be super good what you got planned for tonight pops just chilling out how's work today Let's go ahead and speed that up a tad, get them back up and back to work. All right, all right. What material, what are we waiting for here? We have plenty of iron. I'm not sure why no one's working on that. Let me see. bring these down just a smidge because if I got the damn smelter on I need somebody to actually be doing it because that thing takes up a shit ton of power we're actually gonna throw this on yellow alert just so we can go ahead and get that built I think what we're gonna do with this refined metal is we're probably gonna go ahead and make some uh, oxygen mass stations so that way the people that are going down into the uh, the cavern, they can stay down there a bit longer and uh, dig some more of that stuff out a bit faster. Long day, just sitting here watching 76ers and the Clippers. Oh, okay, who's up? I haven't been keeping up with, I haven't been keeping up with nothing this past uh, year, man. I'm so behind on all that.
Billy's up 24-36. Okay, okay. You got a favorite on the game? Who you rooting for? Going for Philly. That's what's good. Okay, okay. I'm a I'm a Lakers guy myself, but you know they they ain't been the same since Kobe passed. Rest in peace. Just ain't the same, man. Just ain't the same. Yeah, love the Lakers, man. It's they just I don't know, man. You know LeBron's a great player, but I'm I'm just I don't know I don't know what it is about him, man. I'm just not a huge fan like that. I don't really rock with him like that. Circuit overloaded to where? Okay, now look, we got multiple circuits going bad. Uh, I can't even see it. Oh, where's it at? There it is. We got circuits crying. Probably gonna have to end up turning this thing back off. It's just those two. It is. They're not playing well. Yeah, they they just not. <laughs> they're not playing like they used to, man. It's like really sad to see, honestly. Yeah, they just they just not hitting like they used to, man. I'll turn that off for a bit. Let's see. We're gonna throw down that oxygen. Uh, where do I wanna put it? I guess we can put it right there. Just drop that bad boy right there. And we'll start out with just one. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to use it right away yet, but it is what it is. Have you upgraded the power to it yet? Uh, as far as for the base, no, it's still running on the 1,000 watt cable. Playoffs coming up. Hope we can make a run for it. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping. Like, I'm always gonna root for the Lakers, but it just, bro, it just, it just ain't the same, man. It really ain't the same. But yeah, I'm always gonna root for them. That's my squad. So all the digging is going mad slow. Let's see. All right, guys, at least we got food back in check. We're back up to 22,000 calories, so we're looking good on food. Got the power going yet? Nah, not yet. Uh, I think we're going to have to start throwing in some of them transformers. Because we need to start dividing up, uh, we're going to have to start dividing up the power. Like, we don't really have a choice, I feel like, at this point. And that's going to require some, some more digging. So we're going to put that right here. Let me go ahead and start prepping for that. Man, 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 what is this? What? Yeah, we're gonna throw that bad boy right there. Don't they need to focus more, play better defense? Yeah, just the defense, like, I don't know, man. It seems like they, I feel like they kind of overly rely on LeBron, at least the last time I was watching them. Like I said, I haven't really haven't really been paying too much attention uh, to the NBA probably like the last two years or so, but I feel like they just overly rely on him and not even in the same way like they used to rely on Kobe. I feel like Kobe made the rest of the team play better. 
And uh, I don't know. They just ain't, they ain't got that same leadership no more. So it's definitely not the same. Oh, yeah. Long live Kobe. That was my guy. I don't even watch a ton of sports, but I would always watch LA play. Yeah, absolutely. LeBron's way in my yeah, just way too soft in my opinion. He's always looking for always looking for a foul to get called and just like, hey man, you just gotta suck it up, bro. You gotta you gotta make it happen. You're the MVP on your team, bro. Suffocating. Got a yellow. We can turn this off. Yeah, let me see. The first floor that's going to get a transponder should be here. We're going to start setting this up. How big is this thing? wires from draw more than 4,000 watts what about this other joint it's 1,000 watts but you need is that refined but you need the heavy duty iron for that interesting Okay. Am, am I lying though? He's he's always looking for the foul. I'm like, bro, shut up and play ball, bro. Like, if they call it, they call it. But just, I don't know, bro. Just playing like a little bitch half the time. Shit's annoying. So I think what we're going to do, we'll probably. We can throw these bad boys right here. Throw one there. Then we're going to need another one lower to run some of this stuff that's in the basement. So this one will be for the first floor of the main base, which this airlock is what separates everything else. Let me see. I got to figure out how much power do we need down there. What's the smart battery do? The smart battery is, um, it basically allows you to use automation. So when we start using our coal generators, right? The smart batteries, you can set up an automation switch. So whenever, let's say, um, the, the coal generators will run till the batteries are like 90 or 100%. And then the smart battery will send a signal to the coal generators to shut them off. So that way you're not just wasting coal even though your batteries are full. That's the reason why I haven't really wanted to use the coal generators because without that automation in place, it's gonna we're gonna burn through uh, the amount of coal that we have. Yeah, definitely. Sorry guys, I know I'm not really focusing on the dupes. I'm kind of trying to kind of like pre-plan out what the next move is. Uh, each one of these transformers are only going to be able to put out about a thousand watts. Uh, so some things might need to get moved around or I'm trying to count up how many transformers we need for the basement. I don't think there's really too much more that we need to add besides the carbon skimmer going back down. So thinking game, yeah, this game, like I said, um, a lot of and engineers play this game because it's very even though it looks silly it's very realistic as far as um how everything works like even the gas the gases have different densities so you know like carbon dioxide is the heaviest gas so that will always fall to the bottom of your base 
Uh, I think natural gas and chlorine are, is above that. Then you have your oxygen and polluted oxygen, which is above that. And then hydrogen will always go to the very top of the base. Um, so you have to keep all these things in check. The thing that's given us a problem is that we have this chlorine gas vent. So every so many days, this thing's going to pump out a shit ton of chlorine. And we have it locked off now. I got two airlocks there to prevent more of it from coming out. But um, even outside of that, like carbon dioxide, that's, you know, the more the more people that we have in the base, the more carbon dioxide they breathe out each day. And you got to have somewhere for that to go. So that's kind of why we got this thing set up here. This is our carbon dioxide pit. As you can see, all this all this black smoke, that's the carbon dioxide. It's kind of mixing in with the chlorine gas here. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a thinking man's game. Got a, it's a lot of planning and micromanagement, trying to think and plan ahead for everything that's going on. Uh, we're almost at the point where we need to start getting this. Uh, we need to start getting this polluted water cleaned up. That's going to have to happen here soon. So let's go ahead and throw down some ladders. I'm going to put a high priority on that. Run some ladders right there so we can get that pipe finished built. Same thing here. Then we can dig this whole section out. Finish putting down our ladder here so we can start building up our transponder. I'm going to throw an airlock down here as well because we're going to end up, uh, for the utility shaft, I'm going to end up cleaning up the air. And uh, throw a few deodorizers in there so it has oxygen in there. Let's see, let's see. What's the next move to make? Honest Abe is down there in the, the yuck water. Uh, getting that built out. Seems like uh, the digging progress has slowed down a lot down here. Because, yeah, they're just running out of air before they can even start digging. That's not good. That's not good. So, yeah, we probably need a... Damn, man. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get... Uh, we're going to have to build, like, a little oxygen room or something. So, we can start powering an oxygen mask. Ah, goodness. It's just another hassle to deal with. So, yeah, they can't dig any farther. Because um, they're running out of air before they get to the area that I need them to dig out. So, what can we do about that? I would need... Yeah, the O2 mask is definitely the solution, but that requires a bunch of shit as well. So for the O2 mask, not only do you make the mask and the dock, you need you need a pure oxygen environment to pump oxygen to those masks, and then that's going to also take building up a ventilation system to run down there. Now building up the ventilation system, that's not really the problem. The issue is getting just clean oxygen. How much algae do we have? We're almost out of algae again. <laughs> so that's not good. Uh, fuck. Well, we need to dig out some more algae ASAP. Where can we go for that? Got a little bit there. Let me see. Let's check out this side. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, not a lot of algae left. Probably gonna have to start converting algae into slimes. That's another another fucking thing to do let's see god damn yeah it's mostly slime left so we're gonna have to set up our distiller for that ah fucking goodness bro alright they don't wanna have to start messing with this yet but Ain't really leaving the boy no choices. So let's get this built ASAP. I'm sure 
sure we have plenty of slime all over the place. And even if we don't, we can dig all that shit out. Gotta run to the store. Try to get back at you when I get back. Almost dinner time. Love you. Love you too, Pops. Have a good night. And uh, if, if I don't uh, hear from you, just message me. We'll chat up some more soon. Can we start running the pipe up to the vent upwards? Uh, yeah, that you talk about this pipe. This pipe is ran up to here so far. I haven't even checked. So they got the ladder built to the next part. And then we're going to dig straight up some more right there. Appreciate it, Pops. You too, man. So yeah, we can have them go ahead and run that. Uh, let's go ahead and set that up. Run that bad boy straight up. Just keep going up with it. All right. What are we looking like in here? probably pump Let's see I don't think there's too much more we can go ahead and pump uh, see if we can get some more chlorine out of this room how are we looking okay we're doing good on food guys we're back up to 33,000 calories it's making me feel way better we literally had a hundred calories towards the beginning of this episode. It was not looking too hot. So yeah, we're going to pump some more of this uh, chlorine gas into our little chlorine chamber over here. So, looks like that's the main gas that is still sucking up. Oh man, oh man. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens, guys. So what I'm thinking now is like now that we have the chlorine a little bit uh under control, we might be able to dig this pit out a bit farther. I'm almost thinking of uh go and go ahead and cracking this um hydrogen area honestly because if we crack this all this hydrogen is going to go straight up to the top and then that'll give us a lot of area for some more of this chlorine to fall set to low priority to help you with farming Oh yeah, yeah. I think we literally we just needed more farming plots. What's going on here? There's no power. There's no power. Great. Somebody take care of that. What do you do? The pufflets. All right. The pufflet. We made a room specifically for him, so he's gonna go down here. Let's see. the other ranch set up Grumman station we'll put that like right there uh, man. drop that there all right let's get this pufflet in here and we need to grab him like as soon as he fucking drops Just pause that grab him up Get his ass in there. So the good thing about this little guy is he's going to breathe out like slime, which will start to give us a, a resource for slime, which we can turn into algae, which we can use to keep oxygen flowing in the base. Wrangled the boy up. Gonna take him on down. I 
bang you in there now my guy let's see put high priorities on those what does bro even eat and he eats polluted oxygen it's perfect it's perfect Aragon, if you're suffocating. Oh, look at that. There's a little oxygen pocket right there for him to go to. Ever so small. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I might actually move this. I think I'm going to move this oxygen diffuser over and put it more in the middle. Because let me see, this oxygen, this is this oxygen is just getting trapped right here since there's no airflow towels. So yeah, let's move that over. Hey, fuck it, we'll put it right there. Wiring. Just want the wire straight down to that bad boy. Just like that. So hopefully, basically what I'm hoping is by moving this closer to this ladder that goes down, that'll at least create a little pocket of oxygen. So it's not taking them as long to uh, get down here so they can get some more digging done. That's what I'm hoping. And let's see. So if I crack this pocket, that hydrogen is going to go straight up here and get trapped, so we need to throw in some airflow towels so that air doesn't get trapped in there. Throw in an airflow towel for this room. Need to... I don't know why we have a... Oh, it was to keep the polluted air out. Okay, so we need to get rid of these. Let's see. Yeah, we can get rid of these and switch these out with the other doors, so that way some uh, oxygen can get in there. So yeah, that's pretty low. Maybe it's the only one with cooking. Put my next point in grilling with low priority. No, she's not the only one with cooking. Lay is our the main cook. She's our master chef. Let's see. Yeah, Lay, she's already maxed on cooking. We just need one more person to uh, cover the grill. Of course, that's what she's doing. Because yeah, this other point's really just for using the spice grinder. But the way that they're doing it right now is actually perfect. Because Lay is doing the musher. And since she has the higher skill, uh, it will go faster. Cooking on the grill doesn't seem like it takes that long. So that's the reason I wanted Ada to do that. So yeah, it's actually working out kind of perfect. And yeah, now that we yeah, now that we put down this other garden, like we're good on food. Our food numbers are starting to go up. The only thing is I I'm debating on getting rid of these bristle blossoms because they keep having issues. Like they're saying they're supposed to be irrigated. They're not supposed to be irrigated. They're supposed to... Um, yeah, they're supposed to just need light. So I'm not sure why it's saying that. But I'm kind of over it, honestly. Because this is all food that we could... Just, you know, This is a lot of food that's just not happening bristleberries are happening sometimes but it keeps switching between needing irrigation and not so I'm about to just get rid of them say fuck it so we're gonna just uproot all of these can I copy can't 
got to do it one by one. Uproot these, and we're just going to switch these back to just mill lice, because we have a ton of mill lice seeds. are doing they haven't been what's the word I'm looking for haven't been groomed yet so they're a little moody but they'll be all right so yeah, let's turn these lights back off that way it's not overheating this area here's a little hotter than it should be which might be fine if we find some other seeds I'm sure there's some other stuff we can grow down the line uh, that needs it to be a little hotter but yeah I'd rather just get rid of all that stuff and keep it simple you know the mill lice is working for us so we're just gonna get back on that That's what it meant. Oh, shit. We almost had a water down there. About to use up some more because we got to keep the bathroom straight. How are we looking over here? This is almost finished being built out. I have to prioritize this. finish getting all of this built out ASAP ASAP Let's see I have to cancel that dig this area out first Let's see While it's nighttime, let's go ahead and count up how much power we need for the basement. Um, as far as it looks like, so this is 120 right there. I think this is another, I think that's another 120. No, that's 240. Okay. So that's 360. Uh, what else? Still going to need this gas pump. So that's 600. Another 120, it's 720. We got this fucking thing. Which I'm at, actually, I'm gonna need a special transformer specifically. Specifically for this here. Yeah, I'm gonna run the 4000 watt transformer for our little work area. We got another one pump over there so we're looking at it'll probably be a little over a thousand is what i'm thinking a little bit over a thousand plus a special transformer specifically for this stuff here so let me see we're gonna have to take our ladder down a bit Take 
this out. Research. Let's check it out. Where are we at on research? Okay, the advanced research is done. So, so I'm going to flip this bad boy on. Got some changes going on, guys. About to get rid of a few things. As soon as we get this one up and running, we're going to deconstruct this one. And you guys switch this out of there. Somebody come save this man before he fucking dies. <laughs> Where's my research priority, please, if you don't mind? I think your main priority is research, since you're our... Oh, never mind. We'll put that on max as well, because the doctoring thing, that's not an everyday thing that's happening. Good deal on that. It's all coming together, y'all. Okay, we almost got our pump set up. floor another transformer right there Might as well have both as a priority since that's my character's forte. Yes, sir. That's it. But yeah, it makes sense because the you know the the research is a pretty consistent thing. Uh, the doctor thing, it's good for you to prioritize that, but no one has not been getting sick too often. We got that on max priority too for when someone does get sick, we get it taken care of ASAP. This is our first transformer for the basement, so this can run majority of the stuff on this upper floors here, which is really 
just be a few things that we put in here. Then the next transformer we put in will be the high powered joints, which will run to this utility little work area. Pretty sure we got enough material for that. We do. Got just enough for that. What's up with the wires, though? Hold on, let me check something out as far as the power goes. Heavy wire conductor wire. So there's not a better wire after that. There's not. Uh, as far as um, research, I think after we wrap this up, I think the next research that we're going to probably work on is probably going to be something food based. Uh, probably this, because I kind of feel like I want to get this dehydrator. So that way we can really um, start storing our food for a longer time, especially since we plan on expanding the colony over time. We really only need one doctor and one researcher right now since I could do both might as well be me yeah pretty much as long as we got one person on that I think we're good to go and then where's this one gonna go this floor is right here Let's flip that around we move this straight over this would be here So we can throw that bad boy right here. And the hell, honestly, with this one... I don't know, this is the part that always confuses me because the transformer, this transformer can run 4,000 watts of power, but we only get a 2,000 watts fucking cable. But fuck it. I mean, we, we need that. We need it regardless. So we'll just build it. Put that there. Or actually, no. Damn it. So I want them to all be lined up as far as the main wire that's going to be running through there. I'm clicking on all the wrong stuff, guys. There we go. So that'll go there. Alright. How we doing on food? 42,000 calories, dude. We made an epic bounce back, y'all. We went from literally having like 113 calories at one point up to 42k. And all it took was just an extra farm. Okay, they haven't gotten groomed, so hopefully we can get that going. Drop some more... Some more mealwood in this bad boy. So this is gonna once we get those in, we're gonna be have a very high surplus of food coming in, which is awesome. Um let me see, let me see. Can't really do too much down there. How are we looking here? Okay. Looking much better. Matter of fact, I won't even I won't even get rid of this. I'll just turn it off until I feel like we might until we need it. But I'm probably gonna end up throwing some more air vents through here so some more of this oxygen can flow up. But it's not a huge priority since we have this here and that oxygen's flowing down. Let's see. But 
we do need a few more air vents here and there because it looks like we do have some uh, some slight carbon dioxide buildup in a few different rooms. So we'll just put these here. So that carbon dioxide, I got somewhere to go. Do the same thing right here. power is that going to need? That's going to need 120. And it needs somewhere for the wastewater to go, of course. So this thing actually kicks out clean, clean water, but I think it's heated. So we're going to leave that the way it is for now. That wastewater there. One farmer and a backup farmer slash cook. Yes, sir. And they're getting it done. I have no complaints. We're already starting to collect on our new little farm area, so that's awesome. airflow tile there and you already know we got to have our statue in there loving it dude just watching the uh calorie count go up and up it's good news good deal good deal got that thing turned on Oh, what? Aragon is about to die. How? How did you do that, bro? This is what I'll be talking about. Oh, man, I don't want to let Aragon die. Hold on, man. Let's see if we have an auto save. Save 10 auto saves. So, yeah, we're gonna have to go back a day. The newest save right here. Okay, we're gonna start this day over. How I can't believe that must have been an oversight on my part as far as the digging, but geez, bro, come on, get it together. <laughs> Looks like we're staying consistent on the calories. Yes, calorie count's looking really good. Let me go back down here. Is he dug? Well, he could have just went down and worked his way back over. That's like, <laughs> that's the shit I be talking about, dude. They just do some weird shit sometimes. Can't let Aragon die. We're gonna build a ladder there and we're gonna throw in a 
fun little fire pole as well. We're going to dig out this whole section. And we might, might go ahead and pop this little hydrogen area. Water sieves are fully built. So the next thing, we do have the smart battery, right? We do have the smart battery, so we need to start refining. We're gonna be switching over to that here soon. So let's go ahead and do this. turn this on hey what's going on Rowan welcome welcome hope you've been having a good day brother of course I gotta I gotta keep streaming man got to I'm trying to trying to take my time build this community up and uh, I just been having a lot of fun getting back into this game because I like my girl she literally was like, dude, you are obsessed with this game. I was got to get off work and literally just play this until I went to sleep. So, <laughs> so I took a break from it, but uh, I'm definitely glad to be back on it. Uh, it's just good times, man. How did you, Aragon, what are you doing? We gotta go save this man. Or actually, no, don't do that. Uh, da, 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 da. let's do this. You should be able to jump across. We just do that. Just finished last class for today. Like 13 hours of classes? Jeez. Man, you are putting in work, bro. God, I can't even imagine. 13 hours of class is crazy. Bro, we're gonna have to drop this. We're gonna have to come back because he, he jumped back. And she is too late. So, hold on. We're not letting... <laughs> not gonna let Aragon die on a floozy error. So, let's bring it back. Like, the only way I want people to end up dying is if literally we just start running out of food. Because we just have too many people that have joined the colony, if anything. Which, that is not looking like it'll be a problem. We've been, uh... I don't know what he's doing, man. Like... I mean, it's partly my fault, but he's like, he's just digging in a way to screw himself over and over. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down a ladder right here. And let me see. Same thing. Matter of fact, I'm just going to put a priority on this stuff. I want to dig that area out over there. Let's get the gang down there. What um what are you um studying for, Rowan? Like um I guess like what's your major? Or, you know, what type of classes are you doing? Turn the air diffuser down by the ladder and set mega priority. Oh, 
this one. Should I put this air diffuser here or down here? What are you thinking, Griff? Hey, appreciate the, the share, Citadel. I didn't even realize that because she didn't say anything. I think she's gone. Oh. The room you're opening. Yeah, I'm saying, like, should I... But, like, where should I put it? Because I can't, I can't put it at the very bottom because there's going to be a very high amount of gas there already from all this stuff that's falling down here. So I'm saying, should like I put it like at the base of this ladder so they have an air pocket up here, or like uh, I'm about to dig this area out. Should I put it like right there? I'm in a weird program called Outdoor Adventure. It's mostly outdoor leadership management skills. Weirdly enough, it's a business degree. Hey, good stuff. Hell yeah, that sounds good. Get them leadership skills, man. It'll look it'll look great on your resume for sure. That's awesome. Second ladder down. Okay, so I'm assuming we're talking about this one here. So once we get to the bottom of this, and I I'm gonna clear out this whole little area as well. We can start doing that now. Let me take the priority off of that. Where the green, yeah, where the green grass is getting down to. Got you, got you. And that works out because I was going to put the carbon skimmer down here as well. I just don't want to run the liquid piping port just yet. But hey, we have made a huge. Lots of progress on getting the chlorine back in check. Uh, Rowan, I think last time uh, when you were in the stream last, the, the chlorine was kind of getting into the kitchen. Look at that progress, man. Making it happen. I took it because I get to be outside two days a week. In the first month, we did whitewater rafting. Oh, nice. For the entire month? Bro, yeah, that... That sounds like a fun class to be in. That's pretty dope. <laughs> I could rock with that. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad. I'm just glad that we are making a bounce back. We added another farm area as well because we were kind of struggling um, on the food tip. So we, once I get this all sorted. Just want to make sure no one's going to accidentally die. Aragon. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see. So, yeah, we built another level for the farm area. And food has just been going up and up. Uh, we're back over. You know, we're just producing more than enough food, finally, because it was starting to be a little bit of a struggle. So I'm glad we got that taken care of. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and oops, I didn't wanna didn't need to be a top priority. It's not that big of a deal. We'll go ahead and close this room off so we can make this also a farm room or a greenhouse, whatever they call it. And because of how high the outdoor skill statements are in Canada, I can take all the certs so I'm getting in my program and go basically anywhere in the world. Yo, that's what's up, man. What so what are your plans after you um once you finish the program? Like what what is it that you want to do once you're done with that? Are you planning on traveling or are you gonna uh f find a gig um there in Canada? 
we have 10, so currently we're at about 4.5 calories per person a day. 10? Oh, dude, we have, uh, we got nine dupes. We got nine dupes right now, and each one eats about a thousand calories a day. So we need about 9,000 calories per day. Yo, what's going on, Maze? What's up, what's up, what's up, brother? How's your day going, man? I'm, I know you've probably been getting some studying in today. I'm hoping. Probably traveling for a canoe trip guide. Hey, that'd be pretty cool. Hell yeah, man, do it. I would definitely... Uh, at least in my opinion, I would definitely recommend you travel uh, to a few other countries and just check out what life's like in other places if you haven't already. Um, you know, y'all know that I live in the Philippines and like this, that was my first, me moving here was my first time leaving the country and it was like the biggest eye opener that like things are, can just be way different and at least for me, the amount of stress I feel between work and, you know, cost of living and everything. There's a lot of places where it's way more manageable. So definitely recommend traveling, bro. Lined up another job interview. OK, Maze, that's what's good, bro. That's what I like to hear, man. What type of job is uh? what type of job are you going to be interviewing for? I got me a job interview tomorrow. Fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully that goes well. Five days worth of food currently. Uh, it says we're at 40k, so we've got about almost it's like four and a half days worth of food, roughly. But that number is slowly going up and up, so that's like the main thing I like to hear. This one's going to be for data entry. Nice, nice. Well, shit, if you're doing, if you're going to be doing data entry, boy, you better be doing uh doing some typing tests and stuff because yeah they they usually want you to have a pretty pretty good uh words per minute but that's awesome man i'm glad to hear that hopefully you uh hopefully you nab that and, uh yeah man get back on that horse get some money coming in that's what i like to hear man appreciate it griff thank you thank you yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, just going into something new. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm applying for the same type of job, but I just I don't want to work in education. I don't feel like it's a. Uh, it's just not it's not for me, man, because uh, at, le at least the people that, you know, that I've been trying to like talk to so I can actually set up meetings and stuff are like principals and superintendents and like directors of the board they're super busy they don't ever want to talk to anybody on the phone for real for real so it's just it's it's just a pain in the ass so i'm looking to go into like some other type of tech sales is what i'm thinking no i'm investing into my other search so finish and make more money that's it man keep doing that bro yeah you gotta keep doing your school thing that's what uh uh, me and Rowan were just talking about keep 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 up the grind on the education bro because it never it's never a bad thing to get certified certifications or different degrees especially if you have a plan as far as like what you want to do and if you know what you want to do is going to need those certs just do it it's worth it no problem at all Maze I'm always down to support the bros man you already know this Let's see. Do, 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 do. 5,000 times 8. 9,000. I was like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the 8 is, but I don't know. Yeah, we got 9 people, so they're consuming about 9,000 9, calories a day, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the research, I just got research back on. We're about to be 
getting some animal control stuff, but that's not really what I'm worried about. We're actually making our way down to the gourmet meal preparation. Ah, chef's kiss, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I really want to get this um, dehydrator. Um, even if we're not able, we'll get a gas range too, so that'll probably give us access to hopefully a bunch of more food or some better quality food so we can keep morale going up and up but the dehydrator is like the big thing that i'm thinking about uh because yeah uh if we're gonna continue to add more and more people to our colony it doesn't hurt to go ahead and start stockpiling food not nine times five okay gotcha yeah rough yeah about five days worth of food that number's coming down a little bit now, but I'm probably going to end up making another little farm area here soon. But I really want us to be in a surplus as far as uh, getting that, that that number up. They specialize in... Hold on. I've missed something. I'm going to become a cybersecurity analyst. That's the goal. And they specialize in vulnerability and risk management. Oh, yeah. That's what I was uh, planning on doing, but just got away from it. Uh... I had a program that I was going to do for cybersecurity, but just the way things lined up, I ended up going a different route, decided to go into sales. And so far, it's been a pretty good journey and experience. And for me, I'm I'm more of an introvert. So for me, it was like kind of, it was really awesome actually to get into sales just because it kind of challenged me to uh, get better at just talking to people. You know what I'm saying? Okay, where are we at? We got this all dug out, looking good. Dig all of this out as well. Look at us go, guys, let's get it. I think it'll, I think it'll be fine to pop this little hydrogen chamber here. It's not that much gas and should go pretty much to the very top. We'll just have to throw in a couple more air towels. A few more spots. Throw those there. Who the hell is suffocating? Copo Tono, get up out of there, my boy. Uh... I will also look into sales. Yeah, I would say, um, like, as far as getting a job right now, sales, why is Tone still down here, dude? Climb out. What are you doing? You're almost out of air, brother. Get out of there. He better not die. Why is he doing other stuff? Go back to the surface. Bro is literally. Is it because. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I think it's because this ladder is not long enough. God damn it. You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. This is the one thing I hate about digging on this game. It's like you have to be so precise with where and how you dig, or else he'll just like let them. They'll dig themselves into a grave. Like I said, don't want to give up no job opportunity if I get my foot in the door. I can make decent money and invest it into myself. I don't care what job I take. I feel you on that. I definitely feel you on that. Gosh, we got so much stuff done and then this man damn near killed himself. So let's add a straight ladder because I think since this ladder was only one towel high, I don't think he could switch. I'm not sure what all was dug out here, but let's just go ahead and throw this down. So goofy.
gosh. So I don't want to be focused on just that down there. Let's see. We need to get this hooked up. Do, 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 deconstruct both of those. So we're going to have to get rid of one battery here. And that there. And then, let me see. I have to pause this for a second while I think about it. Uh, da, da, da. So... This is going to run directly over here. Bring it up. Oh, that's right. It can't go through. That's right. I'm stupid. It can't go through walls. That's why the plate's there. Duh. Oh, hell, I'm running the completely wrong wire. Completely. I'm on the expensive wire. We don't want that. That runs 50 kilowatts. That's unnecessary. I'll run this here. Let me see. Run that there, throw down our heavy watt plates. Go ahead, go ahead and start playing that again. Dig this out. And. I was not thinking about that, so we'll actually. Gonna actually get rid of this block here. Why is Ada down there instead of cooking or getting food? Try making that first air diffuser you put there a priority. Ah, uh, I mean, she's up there now. She might have been going down there to grab some of this stuff because there's all types of seeds and other crap that's down there as well ain't no telling man they just be doing stuff hey welcome back pops yep still at it we're uh, pretty early into the stream honestly i'm coming up on the two hour mark so we're probably at like at least probably another two hours before i call it a night but yeah we're still at it we had uh some of our people almost die in some pretty stupid ways but thank god for safe sc scrubbing <laughs> so the squad is still here and we're, yes let's go ahead and get that air diffuser down here like griff said once we get this little area right here dug out we'll get that set up let's go ahead and run the wiring down there let me see getting ready we're getting ready to run our heavy duty wiring so we can start getting that whole thing going so i'm gonna have to move some stuff around for that that'll be fun uh but for now uh this wire we'll just run this down into the floor and bring it over we'll just run it right along here run it to right there for now and then once this gets dug out we'll move that diffuser down yes sir what's the score on that game pops research may be done it probably is almost go ahead and flip the switch on this other building here Hey, just doing some farm shit. We 
forgot all about up here, dude. Abe is still working his way up here. Or building, he's actually building out the, uh, the, the vent. We just haven't had anyone come up here and dig this out yet. So I might actually throw a priority on that. Gas levels is looking pretty good, y'all. As we get this all together, we're just gonna dig. I'm thinking like we're gonna basically dig out this whole section here, pretty much. All of this is gonna get dug out. Once that research is done, we can start making some better ventilation. Yeah, uh, let me see. It's just really a matter of where to. So let me see. Save, save it. Ah, uh, should I save while no one's down there to die? <laughs> Let's do that. But yeah, I'm thinking. Some things will definitely end up getting swapped around uh, once we get this pit dug out a bit more. I really want to see like oxygen, like at least like right here in this area. That would be good. I didn't even know this was on. Turn that off. So this room's at max capacity again. Yep. So what I'm worried about right now is we need to start pumping water back into this room over here. So all of this is the priority here. Saving is way too important on games like this. Oh yeah, you ain't lying. Luckily it auto saves each, uh, I think at the beginning of each day, luckily is why we were able to save save our peoples and here we're gonna we're gonna switch up uh the wiring here real quick so see before we do that let me do this That we need to have that built. I thought they had finished building this already. Lakers up 83 to 70 against Memphis. Nice. At least my boys is winning, man. That's that's good to hear. Automated is nice, but it doesn't save critical moments. Yeah, for sure. Definitely agree with you on that. So this guy, I forgot, he just eats polluted air, so he doesn't even need this thing. Uh, what are we missing? What are we missing, guys? Stable. Oh, it's slightly too big. Oh, so we just need to put a door. Just put a door down and we'll be good.
where is this game uh like to buy uh i i'm pretty sure they have this game on playstation i wouldn't be surprised if it's on xbox i'm playing it on steam on my computer and it doesn't cost it doesn't really cost that much i think it's like 30 bucks for this game so let's see is everybody up as soon as they get out of the shower we're going to put everybody uh on a yellow alert so we can get this finished getting this little area set up got some free iron right here we're definitely gonna take that yeah for sure pops i'm i mainly play on pc i have a ps4 but uh oh i barely touched it probably the last two years since i got my pc and uh steam steam is probably my favorite game store for a computer i know some people like uh the epic store and stuff but i'm a steam guy it keeps track of like all your achievements and all that type of good stuff had a friend that was playing an rpg spent four hours playing got a ton of levels and amazing items and lost it all because he didn't save and died on some bullshit yeah hey that's part of the game bro rpgs you should know better you better be safe scrubbing if you're playing a, if you're playing the rpg just like when i was playing uh baldur's gate last night I'm, every time i know it we got to get in the fight bro i'm saving off rip yes sir yes sir all right then we're going to do we get that built we did so we're going to start running power for each one of our floors. Uh, let's see. We're not even using that stuff up there, so it's not a major, not something I'm really too concerned with running power to just yet. Just like that. Gotta deconstruct this ASAP. Get it done, get it done. Gonna bring this bad boy straight up through here. Connect all of our transformers. Just like that. see we're gonna have to put a little platform right there or actually we can just make a ladder always have two saves per rpg one for fuck ups and one is just in case yeah definitely i'm pretty much the same way like i'm always uh just it doesn't hurt to save in rpgs like basically have unlimited saves in most games it's just like why not okay so let me see i'm trying to think of when once we get this built out i'm trying to think of when to disconnect this wire because we're gonna uh switch up this layout here in just a second. Can I run a wire through this? I can. Okay. Get down on it. About to eat some food. Watch the rest of the game. Have a good night, son. All right. I appreciate it, Pops. Appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Yeah, man. Enjoy your dinner. I'm going to 
Hell, I'm probably about to go to the fridge and grab me a little brewski and some food, my damn self. But yeah, definitely have a good night. Tell the wife I said hello. And uh, hopefully our Lakers pull it out. <laughs> See what happens. Okay, we got most of the gang getting this work done. Trying to, bleh, I can't even talk. I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna run this power wire through here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the head this heavy watt wire and run it through all of these, connect them to these. And that's all gonna run straight through here. All right, we'll do pops. Yeah, tell Christy I said hi. I hope you have a good night. And uh, yeah, we got work tomorrow. Yeah, have a good day at work tomorrow as well. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of all of these power wires. Hit the wrong button. Gonna get rid of all of this here. lot of things are happening right now. Okay, so they're going to build out this heavy watt wire, get all this set up, and that's going to start running power to our transformers here. And then we're going to start dealing out the power on a floor by floor basis instead of it all just coming straight down from the basement like that. Yes, sir. So let's see. They got to get that shit done before they call it a night. Yeah, at the very least, keep this up and running. Then we're going to have to run this over here. Let's see. Going to have to put another transformer up here. Hell, this is a thousand watts right here, just in this damn room. So we'll probably have a separate transformer for the massage room. And then we're gonna have to run uh, another one for the rest of this stuff up here. I know it's downtime and I know y'all want to eat. Y'all want to eat. Y'all better chop chop, bro. Let's, let's get it done. Come on, guys. So the stress level is going up. We're at 30% stress, which I think is the highest we've been since we've started playing. With Abe being the main one, let's we'll say Aragon and Griff is at 14%. Everybody else is under 10. It's not too crazy. And uh, we'll give them some uh, extra downtime tomorrow to make up for uh, the excess work. Come on, y'all only got one more to do. That's it. I think they said fuck what I'm talking about and called it a night. Or no, nah, Aragon's gonna finish it up. Good man, Aragon. Get it done. Yeah, they're not gonna finish it. So we'll drop that. That'll get finished first thing in the morning. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let him live a little bit. Give him some extra downtime tomorrow night. 
to make up for them busting some ass today. Up, oh, Griff is sick. That's no bueno. Griff, you're gonna have to treat yourself, bro. <laughs> I don't even know if you can do that. We're gonna find out. Hey, what's up? My love is forever. What's going on, brother? Just hanging, hanging. Hanging with the crew. Got, uh, got Griff and Rowan. I think Rowan's still here. We're all just hanging out, making some more progress on our little colony here, getting some things done. YCE in the house. Yeah, I seen her pop in. I don't know if she's still here. What's going on, YCE? They don't, they don't hang around for my streams, man. They don't like to watch games get played they, they want to chit chat i don't blame them it is what it is all right good deal hey what is this no power wire connected how's the power wire not connected oh it's not running out anywhere gotcha 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 <laughs> Where you at, mean <laughs> woman? <laughs> Medbay is on max priority, bro. It's it's on a nine, but I don't think I don't think you can treat yourself. I think we would need a doctor, another doctor to treat you, unless that's where you're heading right now. Let's find out. Appreciate the share. Holy shit, bro! I didn't even realize the amount of likes. Y'all be going crazy with the TikTok likes, bro. We got over 1,200 likes. Thank you so much. It is highly appreciated. Yeah, no, I don't think you can, uh... Yeah, I don't think you can treat yourself, Griff. Doesn't look like it. Or else you would have already went up there. So you're just gonna have to ride the sickness out until we, uh... get, get someone else. Do we have enough med packs? Let's see. Oh, no, we don't have any med packs. We're actually out. So here, I'll tell you what. I can... We do got the flowers we need to make them. So I can flip this back on and see if your character will go in there and whip those up. I appreciate you forever. Good looking, man. What you been up to today? Anything new? Or just staying on the grind, man? Same old, same old. Where's my guy at? I'm not, doesn't look like I'm ranching at the moment. And let's see. Looks like you're gonna finish out the research first. Morning. Oh, hold on. What? Morning. Who died? How? When? Bruh, what? We we lost two people at some point. I don't even know. Me and Tone died. How did we die? Because no one ever built this damn ladder, dude. Are you fucking kidding? Oh my god. That's that's beyond annoying, to say the fucking least. Same old, same old money. Money the game go. Main go. Hell yeah, bruh. Gotta keep stacking that cheddar, man. I feel you on that. That's what it's all about. 
so we we didn't die we died probably the day before I didn't even realize anyone died I was like why is she mourning what the hell happened so we did an auto save here let's see maybe the day before I don't understand how we died it's like why did no one just build the ladder all you had to do was build the fucking ladder and we would have been good oh they were dead before that so we're gonna go back to our manual save jeez that's crazy bro I had a knee I had a knee doctor that gave himself injections in the knee oh oh I can't even imagine doing that fuck that oh god that just sounds painful did you see Citadel she came to your lab I seen yeah I seen her pop in here and share it um I didn't even see that she shared anything she didn't say anything Uh, we've been down here dead for like two three days i didn't even know i'm such a good overseer right guys I'm like the best overseer ever <laughs> you shared the live with you okay yeah because i seen i had seen um she was already gone i think because the viewer count was zero uh but i had seen that she shared the live but she never said anything so i didn't even notice the yeah i didn't even notice that she was here well, if you catch up with her, tell her I said, what's up? Hope she's been doing well. So here, we got to put a priority on this damn ladder or else everyone's going to die. We just lost two, two days of progress. Because these guys just keep allowing themselves to die, which is just amazing. <laughs> and that sucks because now we're going to have to go back and do all this stuff again so much fun then she left yeah I was like she had to leave like right right after that because like I didn't even know she was in here literally bro someone come and bruh someone come build this damn ladder so they can get in and out of here So hold on, that's what it was. Once once this got destroyed, they couldn't get back over. Should be good now with the ladder. Huzzah. Jesus. She may have been getting off for the night and shared your stream as a good night. Yeah, maybe so. I'm I'm not sure. But I mean hey, she shared she shared the live, so I am appreciative. I wish you would have said hi or what's up or something, but you know, if you call in at night, well, actually, shit, she's uh, from the Peens, so it's the daytime for us. It's morning time. But it's all goody. Okay. I think we're good. No one should die down here now. I didn't mean to make that a yellow alert. It's not that important. Oh, I'm just pissed. I got to go back and do all this stuff over here, man. This was all good to go. Sounds like a night owl. Yeah, maybe so. I know. Uh, I know some some people be staying up on um on like TikTok live talking and stuff all night, and I just I can't do it. I can't even do it. K 
can't afford no more deaths. It's time for you guys to build facts, bro. I'm just mad. I didn't even know that two of our people died. Like, I guess I just wasn't paying enough attention. Maybe I was talking too much. Should save more. Well, I don't, I don't sweat the saves too much since it saves every day, but I'm just surprised that they were dead for two days and you know, we didn't even notice. <laughs> we didn't even notice they had been dead for two days. I was like, man, I was like, where's my guy at? Why isn't he fucking ranching? Why are all the, cause I was like, why is all the animals angry? They were like, none of them were happy. And I was like, what's, what's the deal, bro? I was like, maybe it's because we got too much farm stuff going on. I don't know. It'll be fine. It's all fine. It was a, it was a short setback. It's not a big deal. I'm going to go back in here. Start preparing all of this again. Good looking on the share, my brother. Let's run our wires yet again. Okay. I guess we'll just do it the same way that I had it. So we'll run that there. Throw down our heavy watt plate. Run the other wire there. Then just run this bad boy straight up. Getting O2 down there ASAP. Yeah. Let me see. Have they cleared it out? Yeah, they finally got it cleared out, Griff. So we can throw down that diffuser. Throw this bad boy down here. Then we're going to need some wiring, of course. Just run that into the ground. Run that over. Oop, oop. Just like that. And let's make sure we throw a high priority on that stuff so we can get it done quickly. Alright, alright, so that should take care of that. Hold on, man, before I save, I gotta make sure no one's in a stupid place. I think we're good. So we'll drop a save there. Hey, YCE. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you've been doing well, girl. <laughs> the mean woman. Just finished working out, mean man. Oh lord. Just maintaining. I feel you on that. Same here. One day at a time. You know how it is. <laughs> Y'all are silly. at would it Let's see now I'm trying to remember how I separated the damn power grid bro uh, I think we just got rid of like all of this just got rid of this Let's do that and then get rid of all of that Y'all are wild. Don't be teasing each other. Come on now. We gotta all get along. <laughs> Priority on the diffuser. You got it. 
need to take a bath now. Cook for lunch. Buttered garlic shrimp and soup. Hey, that sounds delicious. Hell yeah. Whipping up that good food. She means burn the. Oh, he's petty. <laughs> Not burning the food. Oh my gosh. I I would hope not. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man, came in here just being mean to each other. What's really going on? Griff down here on the night owl shift. Yep. Turn that bad boy off. How much algae we got? We got 4,400 grams of algae left. The algae supply is getting low, y'all. We're going to have to make some shake. Bye. You better sleep. Lord. Y'all like an old married couple. Look at y'all. <laughs> I'm just teasing y'all. He's mean to me. <laughs> you better be nice to Wasi. Lord. She gonna call you out on one of them lives. They gonna be cussing you out. On to day 122. No one has died. Everyone is still alive. Don't believe the lies. No one has died in our playthrough. Wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> everybody's fine. Everybody's just fine. So yeah, let's see. This is about to get turned off. Uh, we still haven't ran the rest of our wires, bro. We gotta get the wires situation straightened out. And before it's already disconnected, so it don't even matter. So hold on, we got to run our wiring over here. And we gotta get this stuff, get all this on ASAP because the wires is already disconnected. So I'm gonna have to put a rush order in. We need to do that. Get all this done ASAP. Let's see. I'm gonna connect all of this like that. The main wire that we need hooked up is this joint here. Hook all that up see all that can stay hooked up and then we need to run this wire we're gonna put another transformer up here for that but for now for now we'll go ahead and let all of that connect so we'll run it like that rewiring everything is going to be a total pain in the ass but it is what it is So we got the whole crew working on getting this power situated. Let's see, we need to go ahead and disconnect these as well. Disconnect all of this. Only nice to her on Sundays. Come on, man. Can't can't just be a one a one a, once a week. God damn. 
<laughs> Careful with the prioritizing. Man, we ain't really got a choice. We got it because the since I disconnected some of the stuff, it's not hooked up at all. So they getting everything reconnected is the top priority right now. Because right now we don't have power going to our oxygen diffusers. We don't got, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, the grid is like kind of broken up right now. Because what our main oxygen diffuser for the upper half of the base that's not connected right now to, to any power, so we got to get that down. And let me see here what we're looking like. They are getting it done. Let's go ahead and. Missed a few spots here and there. Get all of that connected up. And run that wire there. Honest Abe. He's a hungry lad. Sorry, Abe. You gotta keep. We gotta keep working, man. We ain't got a choice. <laughs> Only nice on Sunday. <laughs> man, man, man. Oh, hold on, man. Turn this off. Save. It. Somebody went and put some coal in the generator. I didn't want them to do that. How much water we got left? We got maybe a day or two left of water that we can pump. Yeah, calories are mad solid, but they are, some of the people are like low, calories are low, they would like to stop and eat, but, yeah, but I'm gonna need y'all to, I gots to get it done. Arbor acorn, a seed for our arbor tree. Guess we'll take that, throw it in the stash. Yeah, as soon as you guys get the rest of this built out, bro, y'all can go eat, y'all can go do whatever y'all needs to do after that. Thank y'all for the likes and the shares. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Y'all the real MVPs on the stream, bro. Can't even cap. Stress is going up. Calories are down to 760. They're at 700. I know it's for the good of the colony. <laughs> nah, here, I'll deprioritize. It's just so they can, uh, just so they can go eat. Don't need nobody starving to death when we have all this food. That would be crazy. So yeah, 
there they go. Abe's getting him, him some food in. I think Sushin might have been the other person. Nah. Everybody's getting their food in. They're going to be all right. And let me see what we looking like. Uh, we still have quite a bit of oxygen. So I don't think I'll need to turn. We won't run a yellow alert tomorrow. I think uh, most of it is good to go. We just need that there. Get all that hooked up. Here, I'm gonna switch priorities, or at least lower this a little bit. Because the main thing is getting the power for the rest of the base hooked up. Because until we get that going, we're not even making food. Until we get the power back online for the base. The all important save. Absolutely. Alright, while they are getting their rest in, I'm gonna grab me a brewski. Give me one sec, y'all. see well we're going into day 123 and no one is dead this time major praises for that looks like we got most of our stuff under control we got the chlorine gas problem for the most part under control i'm gonna get back to digging that right now we're just gonna finish up getting our power back online and then from there, I think we're going to be good, guys. Be able to start actually breaking up uh, how much power each floor is getting. I need to go ahead and plan out another transformer for this floor because this room needs its own transformer. Let me see. Is there anything else? The research tables and all that. Hmm. It doesn't need its own transformer, but it's going to need a switch for each table, for sure. Because those things use up a ton of power. As far as, far as the other stuff... It's at 180, 240, 300. Yeah, the rest of the stuff on that floor doesn't use up too much power, so we'll just drop one transformer there. Poor Griff fell asleep out there in the shit. Just working entirely too hard, Griff. Let's see. This will go. This will go right there. These weren't supposed to be yellow.
Turn those yellow alerts off. Didn't mean to do that. Well, let's get those two spots dug out. Same thing right there. Got a bunch of polluted water up above. So eventually we're going to end up bringing this little area into that. Don't want to do that just yet. It's not quite enough water in there. like Abe is getting it done. Might have... Yeah, I think I might have to have the game. We're already like almost halfway through the day. They still haven't wrapped this up, which means we still don't have power to the food maker and all that good stuff. I think it's just that. This last little piece can wait. But we definitely need to finish this connection so we can get power up here. We have the wire running over here to our main floor. So all that's good to go. We got 63 tons of coal. We have so much coal. That is what I like to see. Come on, guys, get it done. There we go. So we got the main things hooked up. Once we get this last piece done right here. We'll have power running back to the base. So it's going to be a straight shot down into there. Yep. So we can dig that out as well. All that nastiness. Oh, they don't have a way to get there, I don't think. That's why. That's why they're not doing it. So we're going to do this and then drop a ladder right there. Put a high priority on that as well. We got to get that, get that done before the night is over with. This is it. They get that ladder down. We'll get that last wire in and we will be good to go, y'all. Two days in the base without power. It's no bueno. Let's 
Jump on over there, Aragon. You got it. There we go. Got some power flowing back through this bad boy. I need to change this wire up too. Almost forgot about that. Well, let me see. Let me see. good wire for that joint right there bro I'm not sure where we gonna put this at let me look at the overlay right quick so we got power running to the transformer that is running to this stuff up here that's turned off for now Got the bridge taken care of. This is charging bad juice back into this joint. So let me see how we're gonna do this. So we can go ahead and set up. Set this up to go there. Hmm. This joint here will have this run straight across. switch over each bed actually no that's not gonna work Hold on. that's not gonna work cancel cancel Actually, I don't know what we can do. Get rid of that and gonna deconstruct this. I'm put the switch right here. One switch to rule them all. Nah, I'm gonna probably put. I think I'm gonna put in two switches because these things they use up a ton of power. It's 240 for each table, so I'm gonna put our switches in there. Then we'll run to there. here I can't see what I'm doing take this little area out right here ba da ba 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 Yes, sir. Uh, 
right, while all that's going on, I still got this to get built up. Solar excavation going. Probably slowed down a lot. Yeah, they haven't went up there to dig that out yet. Got the ventilations running basically all the way up there. Then, yeah, we'll just have to keep going from there. Getting the utility shaft going definitely uh, just took up some time, you know. We got our coal generator full up. But it's turned off so we don't burn through it. So next thing we're going to do is I want to get the conductive wire over here connected to our smelter. And for that, let me see. Yeah, I'm, gonna say, I'm probably going to end up putting some stuff here, so I will run that wire through this floor. I don't think we have the stuff to make it yet. We got to make four towels of it, which is not nearly enough. Well, I guess we can run it through here. Yeah, that's the next building priority. I'm just I'm getting them to finish up this stuff up here so we can uh, start diversifying the power for each floor. Because this, I want this transformer basically running this area with the ability to turn these on. And then um, this transformer will pretty much just be for the kitchen. And we'll get rid of this. We can finally get rid of this. Gives us a little extra area to grow some more stuff. Let's see where we at with that. So it's built out now. So we'll put this as the next priority after we get the stuff down there to the other area so we'll set this to a seven grab my food guys one sec It's crazy that my my green screen still captures me all the way out there. Yes, we know about the insufficient oxygen. By the way, I'm almost cigarette free. Hey, that's what's up, man. Congrats. I can't say the same. Uh, I was doing really good about not smoking. Um, for the first few months I was here. But then once I started my new job, that started to stress me out because it was not something I really was used to doing with uh, having to be essentially an extrovert, talk to people all the time. But it is what it is. Oh, yeah. All right, where are we?
we at with all of this? No power consumers. Yeah, we haven't hooked it up yet. Relax. Want them to start working on this so we can pump some oxygen down here. Almost all the vaping now. I feel that. Switching it up. can. Very good. So that's what we'll do for down there. So deconstruct those for a moment. Connect all of this to this transformer. Got the water situation. Let's go ahead and pump a little bit of water on up to the bathroom. Oh, it's on. Just it might not be connected to anything. It is not. Okay. So yeah, we gotta get this transformer connected over there somehow. Or so the last few weeks tastes nastier and nastier. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's good, man. I'm glad you kicking working to kick the habit, man. That's what's up. So I guess we can run our conductive wire. And run it up and through here. And then all of this stuff from here down, we can connect to that. The thing is, we just don't have, we need the smelter in order to do any of that, because we need to make some more, we need to make some more of the stuff we actually need to build it. So, that's something we'll work on. For now, we'll just run it through here. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm trying to think this out, guys. Need to get the smelting, or else we're gonna be melting. I don't know what's going on with this. This is taking y'all forever to start building, but I'm gonna need y'all to just do it. Been literally waiting on this for like a grip now.
feel you on that, Griff. Well, uh, that's the, the one downside to me living over here is I have not toked since I left. Uh, so I'm a bit more of a drinker now. Uh, I have a, my favorite brand. It's called Lemon Lemon Dew or Lemon Dew. It's a Japanese brand of like lemon seltzer. It's, um, it's like 9%. Pretty good. And, uh, yeah, like I stated, said earlier, I'm back to pretty much smoking cigarettes because just needed something to fill that void, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, I believe we have automation. I think we did that a while ago just to prepare, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I think the only thing with that is we need to smelt some more stuff. Actually, we might have enough to be able to go ahead and do it. Let me see. Go ahead and... Yeah, we need more refined metal for our smart batteries and stuff. But we can go ahead and start setting up the switches. refined metal and I think we need 200 to make our first uh, our first smart battery so I think that's once we get this oxygen thing situated here which looks like we're good on that it says there's no power that's right because there is no power so we need to, I think the switch for this is also right here, so we need to move this switch. Move some things around real quick. I'm gonna take, get rid of that switch there. Get rid of that there. All of that over. Wow. Okay. Come on. Oh. Not built yet, so we're gonna just move that over one. Throw a switch here for our smelter. this straight down to the rest of the grid so we can get some oxygen flowing down there still priority on that Kentucky made medicinal legal in 2023 with more lunacy in 2025 and dispensaries are allowed well, it's about damn time. Of course, once I left, just my luck, right? Just gotta get some algae in that bad boy. Popo Tonos over here just 
living the life. This man's singing to himself. He's just having a great time. Outside of not being able to breathe. <laughs> oh, somebody. Look at this man. He's overjoyed. halfway down and just they don't even have algae so I don't even know why they went down there so yeah next thing now that we got our diffuser down there we can continue to continue digging down here uh, once we get some oxygen actually going and we're going to start trying to run this smelter so we can start placing our smart batteries on the next floor up. Once we get the smart batteries down we can start throwing, setting up our automation as well and start switching over to coal power because we're actually doing really good on coal. We got 64 tons of coal. They're grumped and happy. We're gonna have to expand this area. Let's see. We got our puff. Do we never we never put the door down? I know I put uh maybe I know what happened. I know what happened. It's fine. Oops of slime. So let's get that going. Where are we at? Priority on all this right here, boys. And we's a smelting. What's our water situation looking like? Almost out of water for the pump. Not have. Oh, we do not have everything set up yet for this. Got this running over here. Let's see. So I guess we're going to do that.
I do get paid to travel internationally for medical, so he always gives me a dispensary receipt. Okay. Hey, what's up, Chris? Yeah, man, you see it. You see it, twin. I just been here, just vibing. Uh, got my little, finally got my little gaming stream thing going on, which has been going pretty good. Uh, how you been doing though? Hope everything's been going good for you. We're uh, we're just kicking it. I got my community over here on YouTube as well. Uh, we're building our own little colony and uh, just trying to keep everybody alive as long as possible. It's easier said than done. food looking is anybody cooking no <laughs> gotta get some people back on the grill huh. with my medical card and receipt cops can't touch me or anyone with me Hey, that's what's up, man. I feel that. We over here just vibing, bro. Shout out TikTok. Thank y'all all so much for the 1,400 likes. Y'all going crazy. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. But yeah, ain't got too much going on, Chris. I hope you've been doing good. I need to try to pop in on your streams more often. Last time I popped in there, it was a whole vibe. So what is everybody doing? Over here whipping up, whipping it up. We have any water pipes running through there? We do. So we can actually run this. Let's uh let's move this up here. up on the stove.
finally built our first smart battery, so we're about to throw that bad boy in there. Just have to take our time trying to refine more and more metal so we can get a get a few more of the bad boys going. We have hatches everywhere. We got a bunch of hatches up here. We got hatches up there. Hatches on deck. Got some more rust. We'll take it. So let's see. Where's our man Abe at? There goes Aragon. I'm going to put it on follow cam while I eat before my food gets too cold.
Oh, goodness. All right, back at it. That was so good. Still haven't got our smart battery in yet. Other O2 generators new, but how's it look down there? I mean, it's about the same because the all this carbon dioxide it's uh the oxygen is gonna like float up a little bit so most of the oxygen is rising above everything else kind of working its way back up here but uh it's like in practice it's actually working out good because like aragon he's been digging out this area he's just coming back to this generator uh, when he needs to get oxygen, he's not having to go all the way back up, so it's working out pretty good. And the farther down he digs, which we have a ladder all the way down here. So uh, he's going to be able to dig quite a bit. Yeah, for sure. I don't want to waste time on having to keep keep moving it over and over either. 
got a few wires that need to get repaired. So let's get on top of that ASAP. Let's see, where's everybody going today? Yeah, all the L2 moves upward. Yeah, pretty much. But I'm going to have him just keep I'm just going to have him keep digging this area out, so slowly but surely, I'm just going to start making some headway. Where is he at? There he is. The man of the hour. Excuse me. Research just got done. Check it out, check it out. Ah, oh, okay. Still not where we want to be on research. We got the stuff for the critters done. At least. So the next thing up will be uh, getting our rehydrator and our dehydrator and our gas stove, which would be a major improvement. Yeah, let's drop a save. Looks like Copa Otono is coming down to help out dig, or there might be some more ladder. Let's check on the rest of the base while they're doing that. I know we still got some stuff with the power that we could still be working on. Oh shit, we got our finally got our smart battery ends. So with that, let's see actually start running our automation. I'm going to actually run this straight down to here.
women of Bamboo. I hate to say it, but maybe two air diffusers down there. Nah, it, it would be pointless. I'm just going to move this one closer to the ladder. Because no matter what, as long as there's carbon dioxide, this much carbon dioxide here, the oxygen's going to automatically go above this layer of carbon dioxide off rip. And it's actually even going above the chlorine, so I guess chlorine is a little, a little heavier than oxygen. But, um, yeah, there's no point, because that oxygen is just going to rise up either way. In this using up our algae, which we're, we need to actually uh, probably get our algae distiller up and running. So we can start turning some slime into... What the fuck? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Turning slime into algae, that's what I was trying to say. Wasn't sure if we had our plumbing set up for that. So that's that's clean water going through there. Here's our wastewater pipe over here, so we can run run this up. Oh, no, we're not gonna have to do that. Just run it behind these machines here like so and I don't think it needs power it does because of course it does so what we'll do is we'll get rid of this get rid of these ladders ladders out of there. We're going to throw down a switch. Drop that bad boy right there. Let's run us a wire here to there. I should take care of that. Doing that, we can go ahead and set up another oxygen diffuser. Let's see. Do, 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 do. that bad boy right over. Catching them Z's, why?
I wonder if they got the automation wire built out. Fast as hell. What the fuck? Look more air friendly. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a little better. Just because, um, yeah, there's a a few little spots of oxygen mixing in with the chlorine. And then, like I said, like right around here, they can breathe. So I'm going to just keep moving these down pretty much as we go. Eventually, I'll deconstruct them. Because if we get this, we get this built faster, we'll be able to um, have Tone and Aragon dig out more of this, which will bring down all this nasty green gas even farther. Come on, guys, get to it. Stop all the chit chat. Get to work. <laughs> Finishing that up on the flip side of that, we need to get this hooked up because we're almost out of algae, which will be a big issue. I didn't even realize we had this connected, so I can actually disconnect some of this shit. Let's try that again. 
Yep, we're staying over 30 cal 30,000 calories pretty easily for a while now. <laughs> and honestly, I think it would be going up, but um, we don't have anybody storing the food in the fridge right now. So that number will probably actually start going up here in a bit. I'm gonna have to kind of go back and look at everybody's priorities and start changing some stuff around. Okay, cool. We got our algae distiller up and running. Smart battery is up and running. And we have our automation set up. <laughs> See, I think we can probably. Let's see. When the batteries get down to 20%, that's going to kick on. Let's try bringing this back down to 50% see how things go not liking the water levels in the reservoir yeah the water levels are pitiful we're basically at a point where we probably can't make much more food Let's see but I st it's still not uh, it's not prepared yet so I might just end up doing this for now I think this is what I'm gonna do because I need to finish setting up everything for gotta finish setting up everything else for the chlorine room I actually need to look up how because there's a specific way that you want to set this up um in order for it to work basically efficiently and kind of like hands off i'm actually gonna have to go back and find that video <laughs> well not find it i'm pretty sure i have to save somewhere but um we're gonna need to set up like some liquid shutoffs and some timers and a few other things the fact that it's lasted as long is amazing. Yeah, once we installed plumbing, I definitely didn't expect uh, this to last as long as it did. Everyone is asleep. Don't even blame y'all. We got a disconnected wire here. That wire's probably fried. I have to take a guess. And that's all good. So, this is what I was looking at doing beforehand. The game will cooperate with me. Okay. Um, we, uh, we're going to have our tables connected through here.
but we need to get rid of this right there. That needs to go. And then we have our connection that runs all the way over here, so that's good to go. Bing, there it is. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this wire there. Connect all of that. Connect our diffuser. Connect this there. Connect that there. Go ahead and turn these switches off. Nobody is stressed out to the point that they need that. Get that on right away. And we also need these. Out. Water isn't close to being gone, just need to top off. Yeah, pretty much. For now, I'm just gonna throw in another pitcher pump. Um, because. Yeah, like I said, we got there's a certain way to set this reservoir up. And I know part of that is also building out a water trap, which I don't think we need because the whole room is literally chlorine. So I don't think we need a water trap, honestly. So that should be okay. Okay. Power grid is looking better. Okay, we got power running specifically just for this floor. It's running, got a few things running here. Those lights are turned off, so that's not a big deal. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the teleporter, y'all. We got ice. We got ice. Not even sure how to feel about that, so we're just gonna leave that there for now. <laughs> So we have automation set up for the coal generator, but we're still using manpower for now. We need to build more smart batteries. Let me see, I haven't even checked the temperature overlay. Yeah, so it's actually good that we're about to be switching over to smart batteries because this was turning into a little hot zone for the base. So, yeah, let's just... We got enough for two more of these bad boys, so let's plop those on down. And then I think we have, like, that'll leave over about 135 so we can we're going to slowly start bringing <coughs> bringing our wire over from this major transformer to the uh uh uh, uh what's it called the refinery Might be able to throw a wire bridge there, I'm not sure. Yep. Let's 
So we'll put that there. And let's see, let's see. I'm gonna run this bad boy over here. And yeah, don't got enough material to make all that wire, but I'm gonna just go ahead and start planning it out at the very least. With that being said, let's turn our smelter back on. About to burn up our power grid. It'll be worth it in the end. Maybe. My love is forever. What's up, Citadel? What's up? My love is forever. Welcome back. Welcome back. Doing good. Doing good. Just hanging out, playing this little uh, survival sim, trying to keep these people alive. It's just been getting harder and harder. <laughs> How's everything going with you, Citadel? Okay, we finally got... Finally got our diffuser ready to go down there. Pump some more oxygen down here, guys. Okay, overall looking pretty good. Still got a decent amount of chlorine in this room that we want to get rid of. Speaking of, did they ever? They did. They finally dug this part out, y'all. So we are going to continue our push to the surface. But how's everything been going? Hope y'all been doing good. got no power all the oxygen is just sitting at the top of this area up here done digging I didn't even realize <clears throat> so we got this all dug out looking nice and spiffy got somebody come and turn this off and just gonna keep pushing I'm gonna open up this whole area matter of fact let's just do this My bad, my bad. Uh, try and dig this area out as well. Oops. 
Make sure, bro, I ain't gonna get stuck in here on some silly shit. Go over that. Climb his ass back out just like that. Should be smooth. We got another one of them smart batteries finally down. Looks like they put them down the third joint. Yee yee. Get those down. Set them up the same way. 90%. automation wire which we don't have any more metal so we're gonna have to make some more goddamn metal <laughs> looks like they're already on it shit we're going through slime <laughs> we're going through our algae pretty quick I might throw down another Might throw down another uh, distillery because I don't know. Does this tell you how fast it makes this? Sh 600 grams a second for 200 grams a second. Doesn't seem like a great trade off, but you know, it is what it is. Keep an eye on that. 17, 1757. What the fuck? max gas pressure down there. Thing uses 183 grams of algae per second. And this makes 200 grams, but we got multiple diffusers. So we're still in a net negative. Uh, man, it would be nice if there was a big old bank of algae somewhere. But it's all good. We're making our way uh, farther down. I know eventually, because we got the natural gas stuff. So once we can get down to where the oil is, I have some more options as far as what we want to do. Let me just look at this stuff. So we got the natural gas generator. <laughs> Oops. Makes carbon dioxide and pollute water. Hey, appreciate the like, Howie. Hope you're having a good one. Y'all been going crazy on the likes today. So let me see, bruh. So we got a natural gas generator. <laughs> you love this game? Yeah, hey, this game, this game is really it. Like, people be thinking it's a game. Like, nah, bruh, this, this game is actually really hard. You gotta really think out your moves. So I know we got, I'm pretty sure we got the oil refinery. So this will take 
crude oil and turn that into petroleum and gas in which we can use our natural gas generator now what about oxygen that's that's one of the things that I foresee a problem Look at this. I gotta look at this, man. I know we have, we can turn water into oxygen. But it's like, shit, bro, if I'm turning water into oxygen, eventually we're gonna run out of water. You know, how are we gonna renew that? deionizer or deoxidizer I mean we got this right here so we can turn some of that salt water into water but I just feel like this is it's not a good long-term solution to start using water for oxygen done with that food research almost um, YouTube channel yeah my YouTube channel is uh, the name is Majin New and I'm actually streaming there right now as well if you want to subscribe to the channel that would be amazing i haven't really started posting like gaming clips to the channel but that's something i definitely want to do um i don't know i feel like this game at least is this is more like a this is more like a viewer's choice type of game that i've been doing i've been adding people that are watching to the colony uh but we've run a few other games i've been running hell divers 2 and I got I got a ton of other games I'm thinking about playing. So I do want to start making some clips here soon for YouTube. It only makes sense. Let me see, bro. I like games like this, Fallout Shelter, Ark, Seven Days to Die. Cause you got a pre-plan. Yeah. It's literally this that's all this game is. It's just a ton of planning ahead of time. Still got a decent amount of chlorine gas sitting up in here. Man, man, man. Let me, let me think, let me think, let me think. Is it multiplayer? Um, this game, no, this game's not multiplayer, but um, the main game that I've been playing is uh, Helldivers 2. That's multiplayer. For this game, um, unfortunately it's not multiplayer, but like all the people that I have in the colony, they're all viewers. They're all people that have been uh, watching this stream. This is episode five. Um, and I think we only have one bot from when I very first started because you start with like three, you start with three survivors and I only had one person watching at the time when I started the game, which, and I know that's Abe. Abe is our bot. But everybody else is um, a survivor that viewers wanted added. Uh, usually what I do is like whenever this portal is ready, if you want to get added, you just let me know by dropping add me in the chat. And I'll, uh, I've will i been letting people pick which survivor they want, name them, and uh, kind of pick out some of their skills and whatnot. It's been a lot of fun, honestly. It's been really fun. we have what is what's the deal with our our refined metal man I need to make some new automation wires bro wow there's no water that's why I was like what's going on
Okay, we did start running our uh, inductive wire up here, though. sure what to do I'm trying to I need to find like a bank of algae somewhere because we're getting low on algae we got a little bit right there got some here uh, just hoping there'd be some somewhere where I really ain't got to crack into nothing we got plenty of slime up oh, here we go we're gonna need that algae stat <laughs> uh, we got we just found a big old chunk up there and we really need that hold on uh, oops Get that. can I just dig straight across I can so yo that's what we're about to do we're about to put all hands on deck to dig up this little algae bank when do I usually go live? Um, usually I go live, uh, I'd say lately it's been like 5 p.m. Eastern time to about this time. I'm probably about to wrap up this stream. It's getting pretty, uh, pretty late for me. I've been at it. Yeah, we're coming up on four and a half hours of this stream. But yeah, usually between 5, 6 p.m. That's usually when I go on live. Uh, every now and then I might go on a little bit earlier. Just depends on what things is looking like. You know how it is. But um, yeah, if you if you join a uh, shit, if you follow me over on YouTube, I think Griff it 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 notifies you when I go live, doesn't it? I think. Pretty sure. But um, yeah, I'm streaming on YouTube and Kick. Uh, you know whichever platform. Uh, better for you just go ahead and jump on that just subscribed on YouTube hey appreciate it Howie thank you kindly I appreciate that glad to have you as a new member of the community definitely trying to just keep this thing going and uh, just find some cool games just to play and share with y'all, man. I don't know why I, I don't know why I'm not getting the alerts for my subs. I don't know what's going on with that. YouTube's being a hater. I don't know. It might have. It might have not been my channel, bro. Is there another Majin new on YouTube? There better not fucking be. <laughs> there better not be another fucking Majin new. I don't think so. Here, hold on. I'll tell you what I'll do. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just making sure, cause yeah, usually like I have a like alert set up and stuff, so it should have popped up. I think I, I probably fucked him up yesterday when I was messing with some stuff. Wouldn't be surprised, but you know, still kind of new to this thing. All good, all good. Well, I appreciate it, Howie. Glad to have you, man. I'm thinking. Uh, let's see what we're. I basically been playing this almost every day the past couple days, so I think we'll we'll probably do a Hell Divers 2 stream, or uh, maybe another game tomorrow. We just started a playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3, the RPG of the year. Uh, we're doing the what is it, the evil the evil playthrough, the Dark Origin or something like that, and that's been pretty interesting. I haven't uh, I never tried it. 
I have seen a few clips on YouTube. Definitely looks dope. And uh, yeah, I got a few other games in mind. I'm thinking about bringing to the stream. Uh, probably wait till you know. Got a few people in here to see 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 what people want to see. Had a few people say they wanted to watch Baldur's Gate 3, so I'll probably be doing some of that off and on. Let's go from there. Alright. Okay, we got a decent amount of algae back. We went from like 1,300 back up to 5.7 tons. So we're looking pretty solid on that. I need all that. Check out the lead attorney. Awesome YouTuber. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pull up their channel so I can check them out when I get up off here. Oh yeah, I've seen this dude. I feel like I've seen clips of his stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a sub on that. Yeah, I feel like I've seen some clips of him on, I think TikTok probably. But yeah, his videos seem pretty, pretty dope. Good looking on that recommendation. I appreciate that. Had to subscribe and click on the bell and turn it on notifications. Yes, sir. With all the with all the YouTubers say, hit that bell, hit that notification bell. <laughs> Me, oh, I missed I missed one. For Me growing up in the age of technology in its infancy, 80s and 90s. Sim games were huge, like Sim City, Sim Town, Sim. T oh yeah, dude, I was a huge. Uh, Sim City nerd back in the day. Back when computers like really started to become a thing. Good dude, check out his commentary on P. Diddy. Oh yeah. Definitely want to hear what he got to say about that whole situation, bro. That situation is crazy. I can't really say I'm surprised, but the, the more information that's coming out, it's just, it's wild. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check that out. Make sure nobody died. I have to replace these batteries one by one. What is this? What is this talking about? Output pipe full. Why would that? Why is the output? Oh, because I'm a brainlet? I'm dumb as hell, boy. What was I thinking? I ran this directly into the output pipe instead of over here. What was I thinking about? Slipping. Automation wire ran at the very least. Oh, now we know why. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's a subscribe. Yeah. Okay, back up to nine tons of algae. So we are good on algae for a little bit. Fall back on that. And it is downtime. It's day 132. We made crazy progress today. We got the chlorine gas situation pretty much under wraps while we are continuing to work on our ladder to the surface. Uh, what else did we get done? We threw in a whole nother farm section. Went from literally on the brink of starvation today, guys. We had like 113 calories and we're up to 39,000. So all in all, I think we did pretty damn good today. We got our utility shaft uh, starting to come together. And yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy with the progress we made. But that's going to wrap it up for today's stream as always i appreciate y'all rocking with me hanging out uh thank you for tuning in dropping them likes follows subscribes all that good stuff i appreciate y'all so much tiktok y'all went crazy today i just realized we got over 3,000 likes on tiktok that's where y'all just the best <laughs> i don't even know what to say but this is where we're gonna leave off until next time and um looking forward to hell divers yeah hey hell divers is pretty lit so yeah i might uh and i'll probably actually jump on that a little early tomorrow because i haven't really touched hell divers the past like two or three days um and there's still some stuff i need to grind for so we'll probably be running some suicides and then possible maybe some hell dive missions on that tomorrow and uh yeah appreciate y'all rocking with me y'all be safe until next time be good have a safe night and